Okay, this question is related to ozonolysis. So let us discuss at point five four. So what we have, um, we have a compound having formula C twenty three H forty six. So compound having molecular formula C twenty three H forty six. So this is the compound. When this is treated with hot potassium permanganate, it gives two products. So if you treat with hot KMnO4, of course this is a alkaline as well as concentrated, and then only uh, used as a dissociation of double bond. This gives two product. So one product is this CH3, CH2. For 12, and then COOH plus. So this is one product I am getting. Another product is CH3, CH2 whole C1, COOH. So this is the two product. We have to write down the structure of this alkene. So what is the structure of this? So you first find how many double bond you will have here. Unsaturation factor is one. You can check. So 23 into 2 plus 2, that is 48. I have only 46 hydrogen. So unsaturation factor is one. Now unsaturation factor is one. Hot KMnO4 gives this product. What is this? Let us take 30 minutes, 30 seconds time. I think all of you can do this one. Hot KMnO4 oxidation goes to acid. You are getting two acid. You have to add, and you have to get this alkene. So simple. I cannot have an alkyne because I have only one unsaturation factor. In case of alkyne, also I will get acid, but in that case, unsaturation factor should be two. I have unsaturation factor only one. This means this is alkene. So give me the answer. Let me see. Have you done? Yeah. So what you have to do? You have to just add these two things: CH3, CH2, or 12. This side you have COOH. Plus, if I write this molecule from this side, I have COOH, CH2 or C1, CH3. So this is the my molecule. So what I have to do is. Between these two, I have to make a double bond. So simply, the structure will be CH3, CH2, or 12 CH. Let us put a double bond here. CH, CH2 whole C1, CH3. So this is my compound. Are you getting or not? Okay, let us discuss the next problem. In the continuation of this problem itself, so this says this is again from ozonolysis at point five five. So this says an alkene takes three mole of hydrogen gas to give. So I have an alkene, an alkene. This takes three mole of hydrogen gas, so three mole H2, and gives the product one isopropyl four methyl cyclohexane. So this is the product, cyclohexane four methyl. So on position number four, so let us say one, two, three, four, four methyl group is there. Four methyl, one isopropyl. So this at position number one. You have isopropyl group. So this is the product after hydrogenation. And ozonolysis, this alkene on ozonolysis. So ozonolysis with reductive ozonolysis. If I do reductive ozonolysis, this gives HCHO plus HCO CH2. C double bond O, 
C double bond O C S three plus C S three C O C H two C H O so this gives the following product after ozonolysis. So you have to decide what is the structure of alkene. You see this reaction gives you a hint that is the after the hydrogenation you are getting this product. So this means gives you the structure. So some skeleton of alkene. So a skeleton of a skeleton is this. Are you getting? So a skeleton I know. So a skeleton of the original molecule I know. A skeleton is this. So this is the original skeleton of alkyne, alkene. Are you getting? Now I have to simply add the double bond. How many double bond we will have? So this takes three mole of hydrogen. So this suggests me three double bond. This can also be verified from here. You see how many carbonyl compound I am getting. I am getting one, that is aldehyde one, another aldehyde two, another aldehyde three. So you have three aldehyde group. And we have three ketonic group. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So I also have three ketonic group. So three aldehyde and three ketone. So six. So you are getting six carbonyl compound. This means you must have a three double bond. So this says three double bond. You getting or not? Now you have to plug the double bond in this frame. So this the frame is given to you. You place the double bond yourself. Where you can place the double bond? I will give you a hint. I am getting three aldehyde, and aldehyde I will get only if if we have CH2 or CH H double. Uh, let me say remove this one CH CH. You will only get aldehyde like CH CHO in this case. Only if you have a terminal CH2 HCHO will get only in case of terminal CH2. That is the one hint. Now once again you are getting one aldehyde in this case. You should have something like this R C H C R H. Then only you will get aldehyde because you will have R C H O. And ketone. This means you must have either C H two or you must have R C H. You will get ketone only if you have a tertiary carbon. You cannot get. You can get ketone only if you have a tertiary. If you see this one, this side also will get. Aldehyde. This side also will get aldehyde. So from this side, this side also will get aldehyde. But if we have R C R double bond C, let us say R H, this side will get ketone. So to having ketone, you must have a carbon that is tertiary. This is attached to one carbon. This is attached to another carbon. This. Is. So to get a ketone, you must have a tertiary carbon. That is another hint. So now you know. So to have, so what are the hints? So, so what are the hint we have? To having ketone, you must have a tertiary carbon. To having HCHO, if you want HCHO, you must have CH2 group. Are you getting? And if you want RCHO, you must have C H R. Are getting? Using these hints, just try to put the double bond inside this frame. I will give you one minute time. This is an important problem. So let us put the double bond in this ring so that you get the desired products. So products is also given to you.
Okay, let us discuss. Have you done this one or not? More time needed. Try. Can another way you just put the double bond here and there and try to uh, fragment and then you see the better the product you are getting or not. That is called hit and trial method. Just putting the double bond inside the ring and then you try to fragment and you see whether the product you are getting or not. Okay, let us see uh, what we can do. I need one HCHO. This can be achieved only if I plus a double bond here either I can place a double bond here or I can place a double bond here then only I can get a HCHO group are you getting or not so you see HCHO I need I need CH2 so CH2 here I have CH2 here I have CH2 here I have so I have three options either I can put a double bond here or I can put a double bond here or I can put a double bond here this and this is same so let us put a double bond here or double bond here I can put these two things now let us say next if you see ketone I am getting one ketone two ketone and three ketone so I need three tertiary carbon that is a three tertiary carbon I need so one tertiary carbon here I have this one another here I have another here I have so I need, I need three double bond I can plus three double bond something like this uh, I have to also break the ring also you see the products are such that the rings has broken so there is rings I have to broke and then I have one two three four five carbon this side one two three four carbon so basically you see ring has broken and one side only one carbon so let us say I need three carbonyl carbon so I can press a double bond here if I place a double bond here I can get one ketone if I place a double bond here I can get one ketone are you getting now you see if you place a double bond here you will get a ketone of course you will get one aldehyde but ring will not broken if you place here one double bond you will get a ketone but ring will not broken I have to break the ring so because ring has uh, fragmented two times and that's why there are so uh, three compounds we are getting so let us try if I place a double bond here are you getting and now if I another double bond if I plus here and one double bond if I plus here let us try now you see what are the products I am getting if I break this one here I will get CHO this side now if I broke here this compound both side I will have uh, aldehyde group so this side I will have C CHO plus CHO are you getting if I do this I will have CHO this side also have CHO but this is not the case I am I am not having anything CHO CHO there is no compound that contains CHO CHO so let us try this I think you have copied this one if I put a double bond here and if I put a one double bond here and if I put one double bond here now if you break this one here because I can have a this carbon is ketonic carbon tertiary carbon I can put double on this side this side as well as this side if I plug this side because you see one CH3 group is there so if I plug uh, break this one now let us try you see you will get our CHO from this side HCHO now this side you will have CHO, CH2, CCH3, CHO, so you will have ketone. So you see how many carbon? 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon you will have. Let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon. This compound. You will get this fragment. You see this fragment you will get. You will have CH3 here, then CO, CH3, CO, then CH2, then CHO. You will get this fragment. Are you getting or not? So from here you will get this fragment. Now see this side will have CS3, CO, CO, this this one. You will get CS3, CO, CO. 
you will have to have two CO group attached. So this means two double bond are alternate. Then only you will get two CO. So CH3, CO, CO, CH2, CHO, CH2, CHO. So this compound. So this is the final structure. Are you getting or not? So uh, what are the important point in this question is first we have deduced there are three ketonic carbon. So three ketones, so I need three tertiary carbon, so I have to plus three double bond at tertiary carbon. So I have these options. I can plus one double bond here. One double bond this side or this side. Basically both are equivalent. If I plus one double bond here, either I can plus this side or this side, both are equivalent. So let us plus this side. Now in this case, if I have plugged this double bond this side, now the situation is not equivalent for this. Either I can plus this side, this side. So let us say one try this side, one try this side. And fragment this one. And you see what the products you are getting or not. Are you getting? Now I am getting only one HCHO. So if I have plugged one double bond here, I cannot plug one double bond here because I am getting only one one HCHO. So one HCHO I am getting. So I have to have one double bond here or here. So if I initially if I have plugged here, then I cannot plug it here. One more option. If I have initially if I have plugged the one double bond here, in that case you can try yourself. You will not get these compounds. If you plug one double bond here, you have to break, you have, you need CO2, two, two double bond alternate. So two tertiary carbon alternate. So this double bond and this double bond because you are getting CO, CO. That is a two double, two double bond you should have alternate position. And that is possible only if you take this, uh, this kind of a structure. So try yourself, uh, even if you do some more example, let us try hit and trial. Just let me give you somebody can take this one to try this one if you take this one double bond here one double bond here let us say and one double bond here and if you try to break you will see yourself that you are not getting the product you try yourself this is a hit and trial method you can try another one you can put a double bond here you put a double bond here you put a double bond here you try and just uh, do a journalist see whether the product you are getting or not you can try more you put one double bond here, you put one double bond here, you put one double bond here, and then you see whether product you are getting or not. That is a hit and trial method. That is also a good method. So you know the frame. So frame is given to you. So this is the frame. And put the double bond anywhere. You need three double bond you have to put. So plug the three double bond here, here, and here. And let us try to break. And you see whether the product you are getting or not. If you are not getting the product, change your double bond position. That is another way of doing the problem like hit and trial method and another way to like logic like in this case I can have some logic like I am getting three ketonic carbon so I should have three tertiary carbon that is one logic I am getting one formaldehyde that is RCHO so I should have CH2 group and I am getting two CO group this means I should have a two double bond alternate position so that is two tertiary carbon should be alternate position because two ketonic groups so two tertiary carbon should be so this tertiary carbon and this tertiary carbon are alternate because I should have no CH2 no CH2 in the middle so I should have two tertiary carbon and double bond alternate so this double bond this double bond should be there because I will get two ketones without any CH2 in the middle only if I have two double bond in alternate position that is in conjugated position so this is a, this kind of logic can you apply. So let us copy those who have not copied and then we'll discuss the next problem. I think all of you have copied this one. So this is something related to ozone analysis. Reductive ozone analysis in this case we have done. 